deep title fight between champion Dan Hornbuckel and Rochona, and of course the last guy to defeat Anderson the Spider Silva before his UFC run and Chris Weidman, or Weidman of course, sorry Chris. Chonin with a nice right high kick there, barely blocked by the hand of Hornbuckle, but didn't phase him. Hornbuckle being the bigger and taller opponent who probably cuts much more weight. The Japanese, other than Yushin Okami, still have not uh, come up to the level of weight cutting that the Americans have and, uh, well, at least the Brazilians in Nova Uniao. Though I believe they cut too much. Oh, going for the flying scissor <laughs> that he got Anderson Silva with. And he's, he's locking him up. Going for that inside heel hook. And he's grabbing the knee with his left hand. And he's slipping out. I think Hornbuckle's going to manage to get out of this. Nice positioning, though. Hornbuckle's length is going to help him here. Probably by being able to hold on to Shonan's wrist. Or eventually grab his neck and stack into him to come on top. But uh, if you're going out in your retirement fight trying to replicate your most known win against the GOAT, or current GOAT, greatest of all time in Anderson Silva. Though, you know, John Jones and Fedor Emelianenko might feel differently about that. Chonin turning in now, trying to expose that heel so he could crank back the other way, twist with his body like a wristwatch, hook in the heel. You see him kicking the head there. Kicks and even stomps are allowed in deep. We saw some stomps and soccer kicks by Chonan in the second round. Dan turning out of it now. A little capoeira pass. Still getting put back in that position. Chonan got ankles crossed. Needs to pinch tight. Two, or on one, two on one before attempting a finish here. He's just looking to expose that heel. He's got the hook now. Turn it in. Oh, man. If he could pull this off in his retirement fight. Those, certainly it's been a long footsies 50-50 positional battle. And of course, in the long tradition of catch wrestling, uh, events like deep pancreas shooto in Japan, playing footsies was uh, going for leg locks, been around a lot longer than uh, the current supposedly 50-50 position in jiu-jitsu competitions. Guys are doing this a long, long, long time before it became acceptable and uh, part of the jiu-jitsu community, at least with some people. Though uh, one of my former instructors, Saul Ribeiro, when he saw that the first or a second Mata Morris going for a knee bar here, uh, doesn't like that the jiu-jitsu players are doing that instead of going for positional dominance, um, as is the theory behind Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Hornbuckle passing now into side control. Nice escape. Um, but, uh, you know, who's really tried to finish the fight? Boy, it, it could be Chonan. You know, has Hornbuckle controlled more? Yes. Has Chonan gone for more finishes with the soccer kicks uh, and stomps at the end of the second round and going for the flying scissor inside heel hook? It will be interesting to see who the judges give this to if it in fact goes the distance. See the uh, American Top Team logo by Hornbuckle. Though, you know, I don't know who he really trains with, who his regular partners are. I don't think he makes it down to Florida all that often uh, to the headquarters. Uh, I believe he's maybe from Ohio or the Midwest, representing his native uh, American tribe. There's a knee up on the belly a little bit there with some throat choke. That's nice. You can go to a double knee ride here. Putting a lot of weight down there with the hip. You see that? And slides into mount because of it. Nice. Taking the back now. Got the hooks. Good. <laughs> Solid. Fast velocity punch there by Chonan. And uh, Hornbuckle taking the back. Got some nice control over under control, it looks like. Yep. Got the seatbelt or lasso, backpack, whatever you want to call it. Chonan should, yeah, control that arm under his armpit there. Keep that elbow just pinched tight. Don't use biceps. Pinch the elbow to the ribs. Use structure. And then he can land those right backwards punches if he wants with uh, relative safety. Hornbuckle going for it. Most people are not very good at finishing the one hand choke. I, I'm rather good at locking that down on better guys and uh, they're, they're usually just not familiar with it so much. Hornbuckle is starting to grab a rear naked. Actually that right hand looks like he's locked it down pretty deep. Chonin in pulling some fingers now getting out of it. Back to two on one wrist control. 
it's going to be hard to escape because of the position. Now, is that a stand-up or is that the end of the round? I think that's the end of the round, and Chonan is raising his hands. Both guys are raising their hands. Both guys think they won this fight. Looks like he's very happy about his performance. Nice. Flying scissor inside heel hook takedown. Uh, I can't believe he almost replicated what he did to Anderson Silva. You see him locking him up there, but Dan had his leg fairly straight. Hornbuckle going for the rear naked choke now. Struggling is Chonan there. So I think with Dan's, uh, actually the right hand was locked down pretty good behind him. And he was putting a fairly good choke on him. Even without being in the proper RNC position. Chonan thinks he's won it. Perhaps he has. What does Deep do then if he wins the title? <laughs> Maybe uh, he decides not to retire. Maybe he feels invigorated here. You know, he's, he's lost, you know, some decisions in the UFC and, um, you know, failed to pull the trigger a little bit in the past few years. Uh, but again, uh, I, I've enjoyed training with him in the past. Uh, I've never met Warren Buckle. Always a guy I liked watching fight. Let's see which one wins the decision here in deep. I don't know if you have, draws are so common. Do they do draws in title fights and then the uh, champion retains? That might be a nice way to send Shonen on his way. A draw with the champion retaining. And it looks like the first judge calls it for Shonen. And the winner is Ro Shonen. Wow, maybe he decides not to re retire now that he's a uh, champion. You know, I do think he went for the finishes a, a little a little bit with more hustle, even if Hornbuckle dictated it with slightly uh, better technical positioning on the back and technically superior foot positioning on the feet. Um, but when Chonan brought it in the end of the second round, going for stops and soccer kicks, and the, uh, you know, course going for something very cool like that flying scissor takedown, um... That's probably what won him the fight. And being his retirement match, they may sway the judges a bit. Sympathy. And uh, congrats to you. And um, see everyone there. Happy for him. Some very sexy uh, Japanese ring card girls here. I like the outfits that Deep's uh, thrown on these uh, girls with the... Uh, anyway, um, the Piranha. Champion. He did it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.